Our next award is for the best new play of the season, James Imes' Fat Ham at the Pope. In James Imes' daring, bracing, and gleefully subversive retelling of the tragedy of Hamlet, set at a modern-day black family's barbecue in, a, in the South, he and his play insist that this does not have to be a tragedy. Even if it's a story of a gay black Hamlet whose father, returning from the dead, tells him he's too soft, and whose murderous uncle, who's stolen his inheritance, tells him he's a pansy, it still doesn't have to be a tragedy. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean, James? <laughs> but that's right, it turns out it doesn't have to be a tragedy. If, like Tio, Imes is Horatio, we can imagine as James says, what life could be like if we were to choose pleasure over harm. If we were to choose pleasure over harm. Fat Ham, directed by Sahim Ali and presented at the Public Theater in a co-production with the National Black Theater, does just that. It chooses pleasure over harm every step of the way. It brings the joyous, anarchic, subversive spirit of off-Broadway to glorious, ecstatic, and absurdist life, and it shows how we can celebrate and live and love no matter what is going on. So it doesn't have to end like Hamlet with blood and steel and poison. Instead, it can go with karaoke, disco, and a big old dance party at the end. <laughs> Maya Phillips, in her New York Times review, I just had to quote this, observed that the play transforms the question to be or not to be into questions about how and who to be. Questions like, can you be soft? Can you be queer? Can you be brave? Can you be honest? For its joyously affirming, affirmative and thrillingly theatrical response to those questions, we're delighted to present this year's Best New Play Award to Fat Ham. Please help me welcome its Pulitzer Prize winning playwright, James Ives. <laughs> Wow, thank y'all. I really appreciate this. I'm a, I'm a geriatric millennial, so it's on my phone. Um, <laughs> thank you to the Off-Broadway Alliance, uh, and thank you for your advocacy and your amplification of the great work Off-Broadway. Off-Broadway has always been my dream, um, growing up and in, in, in the South and, and uh, going to school in Philadelphia. I would come up here to see plays when I could, and the first play I saw in New York was off-Broadway. It was Mac Real at the Roundabout, I think, uh, with Anthony Mackie, and I'll, I'll never forget that feeling. Uh, this honor celebrates the ambitious vision and craftsmanship of Sahim Ali, along with our entire cast and crew. And none of this would be possible without all of our producers and co-producers, the public, the National Black Theater. So much love to Jonathan and Shade, Darren, Mandy. Uh, no Guarantees, and the Wilma Theater, who originally commissioned the play in Philadelphia. If you're ever in Philly, go to the Wilma Theater. It's like my artistic home there. Um, I want to just shout out my Philadelphia theater community, um, all of my students and colleagues at the Villanova Theater Department, um, my beautiful family, and my dear, dear husband, Joel, whose birthday is today, and I'm here instead of with him. I am sorry if you watch this video. I love you. <laughs> Um, um, my community consistently inspires me um, and loves me and loves on me and this play would not have happened without that support and inspiration. So thank you so much for this honor.